welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you something very, very different. So I'm going to show you guys the difference between like a beauty guru makeup look, like a full on glam. And I'm also going to show you like a really quick makeup look that is like realistic. Like normally on an everyday basis, we don't bake, we don't put on false lashes. That's just not realistic. I know sometimes when you watch YouTube videos and you see like everyday makeup looks and they look like this, and it's like, well, okay, how long did that take? And this makeup look took me like one hour to do. I've asked a lot of friends and family and asked how they actually do their makeup and this is exactly how they did it. You don't need to be like a professional, you don't have to do like beauty guru makeup to feel beautiful. I feel just as beautiful right now as I do when I have a full glam makeup look on. For an everyday look, if I'm just running errands, if I'm just going to work, if I'm doing something super simple, I do five minute makeup and I just slap it on basically. I've seen a lot of makeup shaving lately, I've seen a lot of people hating on people doing a full on face. I think people should apply just as much makeup as they want to. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference, I thought it would be a fun video and can make you think a little bit. Think like, um, I don't need to do this to feel beautiful. So I'm going to start off with this uh, priming spray. This is from Urban Decay and I'm just going to spray this for primer. I'm using two different ones. I'm using one to highlight my skin and one to smooth out pores in my skin. So for foundation I'm using Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This has full coverage. So I'm just going to paint this on my face. Then we can make a little heart here on my forehead. Ruining my heart. Mm, rest in peace. So this is my little makeup bag. I have all of my brushes and makeup in here. Um, I'm using foundation first. I'm just gonna look smeared in like I would use a moisturizer-ish. I have like the biggest blemish right there. Just gonna blend this shit out. There you go. Took me like 10 seconds. So for concealer, I'm using three different ones. I'm using a corrector, a normal concealer, and then to highlight because you want everything to be fully covered. You don't want anyone to see your dark circles. So I'm using this peachy one first. Then I'm going to conceal. Normally, I don't use concealer because I don't have time for it, but today I just have to because I like the biggest blemish ever and then sometimes I just you can use a little bit right there. This concealer is too dark for me, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Blend it in and hope that no one sees it. Then of course you gotta bake your under eyes. So then you also want to curve out the contour. Then while everything else is baking, you want to just set the rest of the skin. Of course, you're not done when you cream contour. You also, of course, have to set it with some powder contour. Make sure those cheekbones are snatched. Then you want to dust off the bake, and when I'm dusting off the bake, I'm actually adding even more products. I'm adding this light colors, like this, while I'm actually sweeping away the bake. Contour on fleek. For powder, I'm just going to use this little brush. I use this for everything, like my bronzer, my blush, my highlight. And I've had it for like five years, and it's like really dirty. So I'm just going to... Set my face with this. If I don't use this, I get super oily, so I just have to set my face real quick. I'm just using a blush on my cheekbones. And for highlight, the highlight has to be popping, so I'm of course using two different ones. I'm using this beautiful intense gold color. And then I'm also mixing in with a little bit of a lighter gold shade like a more of a champagne color and of course you have to spray your brush I'm using slay all day so I'm gonna spray my brush with this you kind of want to use highlight all over but especially in this area right here so you get that nice like boom bam 
look. May your highlight be brighter than your future. If the highlight isn't strong enough, you're doing something wrong. Yes, hunty. Of course, you have to have a lot right on the tip of the nose. When in doubt, add more. Now to make the face look more natural, because you don't want people to see that you do makeup on your skin so I'm using the Slay All Day Spray to make my skin look more natural. And for bronzer I'm just using the same brush. Got a little too much there. But we're gonna roll with it. And I use bronzer as I do contour. I don't use like a contour shade, I just use this. Um, and I also use it instead of a blush. Using a brow pencil to carve out my brows. First using a line underneath my brows, and then also a line on top of my brows. I also want it to be stronger in the outer edge of the brow, and then kind of diffuse into more of a faded brow. Then I'm gonna set the brows with some brow gel. To get brows on fleek, you need to carve them out with some concealer. Then I fill in my brows. Ooh. And I just, ooh, just use this brow pencil to give my brows some color. I just basically try to get color everywhere so they don't look as sparse. For eyeshadow, I'm going to start with an eyeshadow base. So of course I'm using my Morphe eyeshadow palette. Morphe is my favorite brand ever. All of my brushes are from Morphe and I also use their eyeshadows and all of their other products. They're amazing. Morphe is the best thing in the whole entire world. So don't forget to use my discount code so you can save some money. I'm affiliate with Morphe. So normally on an everyday look I either do a cut crease or I do like a glitter eyeliner. For today I'm going to do more of a um, strong liner so I'm going for a bronzy eye look. Now I'll just use 10 different brushes and 15 different eyeshadows and this is the look that you get. So now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. And if I'm feeling a little bit extra fancy, I use eyeshadows, so I just use these brown tones. And these two brushes, I have like a brush like this. And then I have something like this, like a smaller brush and then just like a smudger thing. And I'm just going to use some darker brown. Use this one. So now I'm going to move on to mascara. And also going to put on some very, just very normal lashes. Very soft, everyday lashes. Mascara, Maybelline. I got some um, mascara on my lid and stuff. I'm just gonna um, try to blend that in. So with my lips, I'm gonna start with a lip liner. Of course, you also gotta outline the lips a little bit. Also, you wanna contour your lips. Then I'm going to go in with a liquid lipstick. Of course, I'm using Kylie Cosmetics because it's my favorite brand, and this color is called Coco K. So for me, there's nothing that is called too much. So I'm going to finish off with a lip gloss. So you have every product you could ever think of on your face. Now I have <clears throat> makeup all over my fingers. But I'm going to use lipstick. I either use like a shimmery pink color or I use this nude shade. Matte shades are so popular. Um, but I can't set those like liquid lipsticks because they dry the hell out of my lips. So I am just going to use this shimmery color, I think. Yeah, it works. I use it all the time. I have this color for like five years now, but it works. Okay, so I guess this is...
is it for my makeup. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys liked it. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Slay, 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 slay. Kabam.